Get your hands up! Get your hands up right now! In daily life, everyone may commit traffic violations. However, how we deal with such situations is crucial. No, get on the ground now. Get on the, put your stomach on the ground. Oh put the stomach on the ground. Have you ever committed a traffic offense? A question that can be asked and how you respond when the police ask you to stop your vehicle will speak volumes about each person's character and responsibility. Let's go through the following scenarios together to draw lessons for ourselves. One of the law enforcement agencies that I highly regard in the Kansas Police Force. Let's see what dramatic situations they bring us this time. Get your hands up right now! During their routine patrol in Interstate 540, police noticed a black car exceeding the speed limit. While the speed limit was 65 miles per hour, the radar detection revealed the car was traveling at 85 miles per hour. A pursuit ensured, and the police faced significant challenges due to heavy traffic. The vehicle was a Chevrolet, and as soon as it was approached, the patrol car quickly closed it. However, the driver persisted in trying to accelerate away, and despite intentional interventions created by the police, the driver recklessly evaded through multiple vehicles to escape. The rear of the car was eventually pulled onto and the side of the road. Despite repeated interventions attempts, they were not successfully. Unfortunately, this intervention caused the patrol car to glide with the tree. Another patrol car continued in pursuit. And a successful pet maneuver was executed. And the driver was instructed to exit the vehicle.
but she disobeyed. The police then performed a false extraction. The driver sustained head injuries and received medical treatment. A passenger in the car was also reversed for involvement in previous warrants. I admire how these officers administered first aid to the driver. They bravely dealt with the offender, yet somewhere within these actions, we can perceive warmth and they carry gestures towards the injured offender. What are your thoughts on this situation? No! Get on the ground! Now! Get on the- put your stomach on the ground! Oh put the stomach on the ground! While conducting patrol, the police noticed the car abruptly chasing lanes despite signaling sensing something unusual. They proceeded to stop the vehicle. However, the driver swerved into the right lane and fled. The police immediately intervened and blocked the escape, and despite their efforts, the car attempted to advance and continued fleeing. With a key adjustment and professionalism, the officer swiftly intervened in time. Let me see your hands! Stay hands in the air! Hands in the air! Hands in the air! Stop right there! 467 northbound, 440. Face away from me! Walk back! Walk, keep your hands up! Walk over here! Face away from me! Face away from me! Lay, lay on the ground! Lay, lay on the ground! Put your hands up! And the driver was instructed to exit the vehicle. And the police demanded the girl to lie down on the ground. She was apprehended shortly afterwards. It seemed that she was not sober before driving. And although she claimed she did not resist, the police spent considerable time restraining her. She will be arrested and investigated later for latch violations. Around quarter to two, while patrolling on Interstate 85, the police spotted a Chevrolet abruptly changing lanes from lane two to lane three at high speeds. Activating the radar, the police recorded a speed of 99 miles an hour in the 70 mile per hour zone. The police instructed the driver to pull over. An initially mistaken for an elderly man with long hair, it turned out to be a woman. And despite providing identification and a driver's information, the data did not match. Despite a remote confirmation from the police, the offender continued to deny changing his story. After multiple checks, the information was confirmed to be false and backup was requested. And upon the supervisor's arrival, the offender suddenly slammed the brakes and fled. A dangerous pursuit ensued, with the offenders recklessly maneuvering through lakes, endangering other vehicles.
and despite attempting to stop her, as the police approached, they pushed the offender's car into the shoulder and successfully apprehended the driver. Due to the collision between the two vehicles, the offender's car unexpectedly caught fire. The offender was then transferred to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, and the vehicle was retained for further investigation. A Nissan vehicle was spotted by the patrolling police on highway, traveling in the opposite direction of the police's lane. Despite the previous encounter, the driver persisted in attempting to flee and showed no intention of stopping. They even swerved into oncoming traffic lanes continuously. This dangerous situation posed a threat to other vehicles, and the police were attempting to close in before intervening from behind. The police successfully intervened with a pit maneuver. However, the red car collided with a white car, causing the red car to veer off the road. And the girl was removed from the vehicle by the police but was in a state of distress and kept crying. What are your thoughts on this situation? Please share your opinions in the comments below. Officers from the Ancona County Sheriff's Office in Minnesota are pursuing a suspect wanted for sexual assault. The suspect had been on the run for several weeks, having failed to appear in court earlier. And after weeks of issuing warrants and surveillances, the patrol team identified and confirmed the suspect as the driver of a white car ahead. A high-speed pursuit ensued immediately. The suspect's vehicle maintained at high speed, but the police continued to close in, executing a sudden pit maneuver. Thank 
After several attempts at closing, the suspect's car careened into the grassing midday between two lanes and moving underneath with the rear of the vehicle is damaged. Five police cars then surrounded and apprehended the suspect. What seemed like the end of the pursuit turned into a challenging situation as the suspect resisted arrest with a knife. And following the arrest, the suspect received a medical treatment in an ambulance due to the injuries sustained Prior during the apprehension. The suspect's recklessness highlighted the professionalism he and determination of the patrol team in apprehending criminals. At approximately 20 past 8 in the evening, on Friday, January 21, 2022, police observed the silver Dodge Durango committing a traffic violation in the area of Interstate 75 North and Northside Drive. Immediately, the police vehicle had activated its emergency equipment and attempted to stop the vehicle, and upon witnessing this behavior, However, the vehicle did not comply and began accelerating while driving erratically, initiating a pursuit. The aggressive vehicle consistently changed the lanes at high speed, threatening collisions with other vehicles in traffic. crossed over with white solid lights and entered into an entrance ramp on I-75, south from Northside Parkway. The pursuit continued on I-75 south. And as the vehicle passed on 7 in exit, a member of the Georgian State Police performed a put maneuver, disabling the vehicle. All occupants were ordered to exit the vehicle and was detained for investigation. And after completing the investigation process, the driver was arrested and transported to Grady Memorial for medical examination. 
Following the medical examination, he was taken to Fulton County Jail and released pending a determination on his detention status. A recent report of speeding white car on the highway patrol prompted the timely response of the highway patrol. The vehicle exhibited dangerous behavior, weaving through the lanes in a reckless manner. The police closed in on the car, attempting a put maneuver without success and the vehicle then changed lanes, speeding past moving trucks. A patrol car maneuvered closely behind, executing a put and then the left side. However, the driver remained undebted, accelerating the car, now covered in scratches. The pursuit became highly perilous as multiple vehicles were still on the road and the suspect's car continuously changed lanes. The suspect car narrowly avoided collision with the various moving vehicles, requiring the highway patrol to devise the quickest intervention plan. Despite challenging conditions, careful calculations were necessary. As the suspect's car turned left and drove into the opposite direction, the highway patrol surrounded and apprehended them. With no escape route, the driver voluntarily stepped out of the car, surrendering. The pursuit demanding significant effort from the highway patrol, but then ultimately results underscored the tireless dedication of their work. On April 15, 2023, the Florida Highway Patrol FHP receiving assistance from an external agency to address a suspected drug trafficking situation in Beverard area. The police attempted to stop the vehicle, but the black Hyundai accelerated recklessly, overtaking traffic and occasionally diving into the emergency lane. A high-speed pursuit on the highway ensured. The several other vehicles on the road, three patrol cars closed in, but the suspect refused to stop and nearly colliding with the law enforcement vehicle. The suspect seemed to agitate the police. A successful pit maneuver was executed, causing the vehicle to veer into the mid lane between the two lanes.
The suspect was apprehended and immediately afterwards. The man identified as Adam Justin Crosby appeared to be in pain but was forcibly placed into custody. And the woman accompanying him was also taken to the police station. The male suspect, Adam Justin Crosby, was subsequently transferred to the Bobert County Jail to face various charges related to the incident. Around 12 minutes past 3 on November 2, 2023, as the patrol officer was stationed at an intersection Highway 7 and Highway 335, a great Kia SUV was moving north from the Northways Expressway, surpassing the stop sign at the intersection. The officer immediately activated the lights to conduct the traffic stop and communicate with the driver to explain the reason for the stop. The officer returned to the unit to check to the driver's information but found no matching records. The police asked the driver to step out of the vehicle. However, instead of complying, the driver drove all the way from the stop. The patrol officer returned to his car, activating the sirens, indicating that a pursuit was in progress. The vehicle moved north on Highway 7 and the officer observed the Kia moving at a high speed. The driver then turned left into the grassy mid before switching to the southbound lane. Later, the pursuing handed south on Highway 7. And after maintaining a safe distance and performing a tactical vehicle intervention, a TVI, the car came to a stop along the left southbound lane of Highway 7 and Shady Grave Road. Show me your hands. Show me your... Unlock the door. Get on your back. You stay right there. You understand me? The suspect was transported to the Union County Sheriff's Office. He faced multiple charges, including evasion, obstruction of government operations, failure to obey a stop sign, speeding over 15 miles per hour, and possession of a controlled substance less than 4 ounces. A daringly reckless vehicle was reported over the police patrol radio on the very stretch of road the officers were monitoring in Hillsborough County. Upon confirming the location, the patrol officers swiftly arrived, immediately initiating intervention procedures. Without hesitation, they persuaded the fleeing driver.
The pursuit concluded rapidly, and the Zeev actions taken by the police caught the suspect off guard. He was approached and apprehended not far from where the chase began, and the suspect was subsequently taken into custody. Around noon on November 7, 2023, a Kansas State Police initiated pursuit with a vehicle exceeding the speed limit. Upon receiving the information, patrolling officers swiftly moved to the location of the moving vehicle. The police caught up with the vehicle after a few miles, but the driver, upon spotting the police car, dangerously swerved into another lane, overtaking another vehicle and fled. He seemed almost disoriented while driving, and with the car swaying and veering on the road, even mistakenly entering the wrong lane. An attempt pit maneuver from behind proved unsuccessful, and the driver continued to resist, displaying a defiant attitude by ultimately slowing down and accelerating. The vehicle then turned onto a narrow uphill road, which turned out to be a dead end. Realizing escape was impossible, the driver raised his hand and surrendered. On Interstate 75, near the I-285 junction, Trooper Dorset 584, patrolling on a marked vehicle, was heading north. From the vantage point of the trooper's vehicle, a silver Ford Focus drew attention by repeatedly changing lanes without signaling and tailgating closely. A Trooper Dorset 584 deciding to pursue, accelerating to 88 miles per hour, exceeding the 55 mile per hour limit in that area. The vehicle had blurry license plate and the driver continued to change lanes without using turn signals, requiring the officer's focus and unpredictable behavior. The driver persisted in its risky mover, disregarding the lane etiquette. Approaching Interstate 285, the police attempted to stop the vehicle for inspection. However, the driver began evasive maneuvers, dangerously changing lanes and reaching speeds well over 100 miles per hour. The situation escalated and the tensions to the Cleveland Avenue and I-75 heading north.
the driver continues recklessly, turning onto Georgia 166 and making improper lane changes and reaching high speeds. And eventually, the situation spiraled out of control as the vehicle collided with the embankment and flipped over. Police approached the overturned vehicle with weapons drawn, commanding the driver to exit. However, there was no response, and after a brief wait with no reaction from the driver upon closer inspection, the police discovered the driver was unconscious, suffering from severe injuries from the collision. South Metro Towing was called to remove the vehicle from the sea. A speeding vehicle abruptly changed lanes without signaling and even running a red light at the intersection and narrowing avoiding collision with other vehicles. Recognizing the erratic behavior of the driver, the police sounded its alarm and initiated pursuit from behind. Despite attempts by the police intervention from the rear, which was unsuccessful, the vehicle continued to flee at high speeds and disregarding all dangers and other vehicles. The reckless driver maneuvered daringly, showing little concern for the safety of those around. The backup team arrived promptly, blocking the suspect's potential escape route. Due to the excessive speed, the suspect vehicle collided at an intersection, and the police were there to apprehend, and the suspect's vehicle was severely mangled. No longer displaying the audacity seen during the initial escape attempt, the aftermath was marked by agonizing cries following the impactful collision. Are you okay? No? Okay. On February 22, 2023, a FHP officer was conducting a routine patrols on the NBI-95 Interstate Highway. The officer reserved the silver Kia traveling at a speed of 92 miles per hour in a 60 mile per hour speed limit zone, heading north. The patrolling act Officer activated the siren and attempted to pull over the vehicle, which was moving across three lanes. As the officer approached, the driver failed to stop and instead initiating a fleeing attempt. The pursuit extended into the dark night with support from fellow officers. The fleeing vehicle was successfully intercepted, and the police immediately apprehended the suspect on the opposite Thank side you. of the road. Surprisingly, the suspect turned out to be a woman who believed she could evade the police pursuit. And both suspects were taken into the police headquarters for further processing.
I take it with you! What are you screaming about? I just want her to call my mom and get my purse. A highly dramatic pursuit is about to unfold on the highway in Starker between a police car and a traffic violator. As they enter the highway, the police car activates its emergency sirens and requests the vehicle to head to pull over. However, there are no signs of the driver stopping, and a brief report has been communicated to the patrol unit. Another police car from the patrol team has joined the pursuit, and the fleeing vehicle starts to speed, surpassing all the traffic stops, regardless of the danger, and continues to evade. And despite numerous other vehicles on the road, the suspect shows no intention of stopping. The vehicle makes a constant turn, and his patrolling officer keeps updating the patrol unit about the situation, allowing them to plan interventions to stop the traffic offender. Intervention was carried out at the end of the highway when the suspect intended to change lanes. The pursuit came to an end and the suspect subsequently received medical assistance without any serious injuries. Thank you sincerely for following and supporting our channel with our team of professional staff. We pledge to bring valuable and meaningful content. Please continue to accompany us in building a safe and responsible traffic community. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.